the entrance of the Palace of the Grand Master in Rhodes, Greece. And the Palace of the Grand Master is actually a re reconstruction, reconstruction, re recre recreation. Anyway, it's not a real palace. They created it for Mussolini when he took over the island. But the pieces of it are real. They took pieces from all over and made a big palace out of it. Something that looks really cruel and dramatic to please Benito. Sometimes fascists are good for something. Some graffiti on the palace. There's a museum inside, which, since I have to be back in the ship in about an hour and a half, don't think I have time, even if I could find the entrance. And I think it's 3 o'clock, and I think our guide also told us they close at 3. There's a monument, also an old town, to the 1600 Jews that were rounded up and killed during World War II by the Nazis. I don't know if I'm going to pass it again, but I didn't take video of that earlier. I guess this is the entrance to the palace of the Grand Master. Lots of cars, so probably the entrance. Yeah.
like this is maybe open at times. It's closed now. Admission tickets will not be issued within the last 10, 20 minutes before closing time. And it's closed. Hundred, which is two o'clock, no, three o'clock. And it's past three now. Palace of the Night. the castle. There's a kitty at the door. The cats are everywhere. Yeah, they close at 3. Oh, really? Yeah, and they, it says they don't give admission until 20 minutes before. Of course. Of course, yeah. Yes, yeah. Good thing we didn't drag Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful. The grounds are beautiful if you look around in there. I just came from there. This is part of the medieval town. I know part of this is real. It's protected. Well, it's all protected. I think this is the end of the castle. You can see, actually, the difference. This is clearly new stone, right here, and then this is older stone. So this is the real part. And then back there is Mussolini's castle or palace, but this is a real medieval part. This looks like newer stone on this building. So I think what it is, is some of it is really medieval and some is built to match it, to make it whole. Looks like they've got the beginnings of Christmas decorations going up. Is it November? Or maybe at nighttime they already light them up. We didn't see this part last night. Probably really pretty lit up. If it's open. There's gates, maybe it's closed, but I see like lights, star lights. stones which are really kind of difficult to walk on I'm walking on this kind of sidewalk I don't know if it's called a sidewalk it's smooth
to go through the cross and film through the cross. See what this is. what that is. <laughs> what is it? The Ministry of Culture. The Vilgarat Building, 15th century in Ottoman Mansion, 18th to 19th century. Shame nothing's open. Although if we had taken another tour, probably we went through this. It's open only in the mornings, I think. It was nice to see Lindos though. Looks like they're kind of constructing. Just offices in there. See computers and modern furniture. Oh, it's a bank. That's why. ATM machine. Medieval ATM machine. the street now and not get killed. Here's the shell boat. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like these are definitely Christmas lights that are going up. I didn't notice them last night. I might have put them on overnight. So tonight they'll probably be shining Christmas lights.
kind of looks like it's about to rain. So I think I'll go back to the ship. I only have about an hour left before I have to go back anyway. Dad decided to hop around last night from there to there, so we all had to follow her. Well, that's not as deep as it looked last night. I think the tide is in. And it is all rocks on the bottom. shot of the cruise ships. Not too many cruise ship marinas are as pretty as this. It's a shame it's overcast today. Because for the most part we've had really nice weather. Okay, we're in Cyprus. This here Little rock is the rock of Aphrodite, and the rumor in the rumor is, or the myth is, that in a full moon, if you drive, if you if, under a full moon, if you fly, if you fly, if you swim around this rock three times, you will get youth. You will de-age ten years if you swim around that rock three times under a full moon. Look at that. All the open seats. Oh my god. What'd you do? Brush my knee. I don't know. Oh. You've had an injury there before, Scott. So. Yeah, but. These are okay. Very painful. Right here. Yeah. It feels it on the bone. Oh, oh you can see the beach down there. Oh. This is the birthplace of Aphrodite. It's a sea foam.
puffers when you go. When you buy postcards in puffers, they always give you stamps as well. So you're gonna see the rock from this side. Have you seen, do you see any Adonis and Aphrodites here? No, we don't see any today. It's too cold, too cold to take their clothes off and swim because there are a lot of Aphrodites. So according to mythology and according to Hesiod, he was a historian, he said that Uranus, Uranus is the sky, and ye, the earth, came out from cows. And Uranus was killing all his children, and the mother earth wanted to protect the children. So she had taken Kronos, the little one, and hidden him under the bed. So when the father came, the son came out and tried to kill the father because the father was killing all his children. He wanted to protect his power. And Kronos, the only thing he succeeded of doing was to cut off his genitals. And the genitals were thrown into the sea, and they were fertilized with the foam of the sea. This is how Aphrodite rose from the foam of the sea. This is why she brought her name with her. But Aphrodite, according to mythology, she was married to Hephaestus. He was the god of the fire and of metal. And he was late. He was, uh, he could not walk, he was not beautiful, but he had the most beautiful wife. But the wife, uh, she was playing around. So she fell in love with yeah, Aris. no, no, Aris Aris was the, was the god of no, 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 war. Aris was the god of war. And he was no, very no, handsome. Rhodos was the name of the name. And when the husband went to work, Aphrodite was letting into the house the lover. And you know who was the only witness of the sea? The witness of the sea, what was going on? The sun. Because the sun, it's always high, so he could see whatever was going on. So he told the husband, and the husband, he fixed, he made a net, and he put it over the bed. But the net was invisible, they could not see it. So when the two lovers went to bed, the net opened up and they were caught inside. And who was again the witness? The son told the husband. So the husband comes home, finds the two lovers in bed, and he took them to the gods to put the punishment. So the gods, they did not want to get mixed up with all these problems of Aphrodite, infertilities of Aphrodite. So they said to Hephaestus, you're going to do the punishment. You put the punishment. So Hephaestus sent very far away the lover boy, Ares. And then it was the turn of Aphrodite now. 